Hi YouTube, Edward Tindall here, and my Leopard Gecko Tindalls. Look at these guys. They're huge. I have not weighed them lately. But this Blazing Blizzard Eclipse is pregnant. She is huge. If you look in size comparison, she's almost the same size as my super giant hypo tangerine hair tail thing. She's got two eggs in her. She's in her egg box. She'll be laying eggs shortly. Um the uh, snow has just shed she looks absolutely gorgeous look at that fat purplish tail she is awesome and the babies are not babies anymore it's been a while since I've done a leopard gecko video but um, this baby blazing glittered She's probably about 40 grams of mine, I guess, at least. And then the raptor. Check that bad boy out. Wow. And I found out a new secret. Grub worms. Um, I found grub worms eating hay. And underneath the hay roll, I washed them off thoroughly. And I would not feed my gecko something that I would not eat my own self. Oh, here's one right here that's left in here. Let me show you these things. For those of you who don't know it, you can live on these. This is something I used to have to eat when I was surviving. I had to live off the land for two years, and it was a blessing to be able to come across one of these per day, if I could. Out in the desert, I had to search far and wide. But anyway, you put these in here, and they eat them. They are full of protein. It's like pure protein and fat. So it's got protein and fat, and it's making them really healthy. And she ate 12 of them today. This blazing, uh, blazing Blizzard Eclipse ate 12 of them. So she's getting ready and she's in her egg box now. She's going to be laying eggs anytime now. That's super giant. That's super giant. That tail is enormous. This thing is a beast. A boss. A king. Tell me that ain't beautiful. This has been another quick update for all the fans of Leopard Geckos. And uh, I can't wait to share with y'all the babies that we'll be having shortly. Um, I'll be incubating them on a half and half weight to weight ratio of vermiculite and um, water. So if I have 100 grams of vermiculite, it's going to be 100 grams of water as well for a total of 200 grams. And I'm going to incubate them at 80, 78 to 83 degrees so all of the babies will be females. And I quite possibly be will be getting rid of one of the females. Not because I want to, but um, because it's about time my fans can have the opportunity to get something from me. So, uh, y'all stay tuned. And uh, as always, peace, love, happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends.